Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're back in Forza Motorsport on PC. Now Nvidia did release drivers yesterday, uh, version 537.58, which fully support uh, Forza Motorsport. So now uh, DLSS actually works. So first we're just going to do at 3840 by 2160 my 4K 144Hz for display. I'm running an Asus Strix RTX 4090 with 107 megahertz quarter clock, 1185 megahertz clock. So we have it at the ultra quality DLA uh, anti aliasing mode and all the graphics settings are fully maxed out. I'm just going to leave everything fully maxed out and we'll try uh, different resolutions and different forms of uh, uh, DLSS. We're going to do a free race. We're going to do Laguna Seca at night in the uh, Nissan GTR. And uh, now, I guess uh, when you do change settings, it does uh, apply immediately, so you don't have to like get out to the main menu of the game to uh, have these settings apply. So we'll first try a DLA, see how the frames per second are, and then we'll try a different settings of DLSS. And we also will try AK resolution with. Uh, uh, DLSS, Most like days here, there's a sound limit of 92 decibels, so take advantage of your freedom to... So I'll be quiet, you guys enjoy, and then I will, as I change settings, I will uh, mention what I'm changing. With a DLA, we're maintaining between uh, 94 to 100 frames per second, depending on the scene. So let's go ahead and uh, try DLSS at a. Uh... Oops, wrong setting. Set it to quality mode. Apply. And then now the settings do apply immediately, so you don't have to go out of the race. But it looks like with DLSS and quality mode, we're maintaining about 116 to 119 frames a second, so a little bit of a boost. Not a huge difference, but it is a little bit of a boost. Okay, so now let's uh, try 8K resolution, which prior would run around, I don't know, 45 frames per second without any, uh, let me hit alt enter so that way we just do a uh, And now 8K resolution, we're maintaining about 50 55 to 58 frames per second. Total time penalty is about a second. I'm driving terrible because I'm looking at the uh, stats here, so get me for that. So yeah, it does give a nice little boost now at 8K. I know you guys can't read it because the MSI afterburner is uh, too small, but it's maintaining about 59 to 61 frames per second at AK resolution. Okay, now let's go back to 4K and let's just turn uh, DLSS off. Apply. And this without without any upscaling or DLA. Looks like we maintain about a hundred, a hundred to hundred four frames per second. Try 
try to focus a little bit more on that driving so I can at least get caught up a little bit. So I do think they overdid those uh, reflections. Like, see how orange the, the pavement looks? That's just a little bit too overdone. I mean, I could understand there might be a little bit of a reflection, but it's like literally the entire road is orange behind this uh, Porsche and it just doesn't look uh, too realistic. It's just overdone. I can understand they're trying to uh, really push the reflections, but it's just a little too overdone in my personal opinion. Okay, we'll try one, one more race to uh, further test out a few different little settings here. But it looks like the new NVIDIA drivers do uh, fully uh, now support the, uh, the DLSS uh, option. So we'll try the Bugatti Devo and we will go to uh, Kyolami and we'll do it in the rain to further uh, stress the GPU here. Right now we have uh, actually no uh, DLSS on, it's just completely off. Typically known for its year -round great this should be interesting if we got a never driven this one in the rain. Happens during the warmer months. So it looks like without any DLSS we're maintaining about 100 to uh, 105 frames per second. Let me get back on track here. Okay, now let's uh, set it to uh, DLA mode. Apply. down to about like 97 to 100 frames per second. That wing is really throwing me off here how it was bending. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that in the other car. Ultimate statements. I would never drive like this in the Bugatti, but just decided to drive a faster car to further uh, test this uh, GPU. Okay, nice little thunder background there. Now let's set DLSS to uh, quality mode. Play. Looks like that keeps us between 112 and I'd say about 
time penalty is about a second. Last lap. This is it fair? Let's it's depending on what part of your track. It looks like we're maintaining about 112 to 117 frames per second, depending on the scene. And I'm actually just doing the exterior view just to kind of really uh, show as much details here. I'll show a little bit of the inside cockpit view here. So that's where that is, and then let's go back to 8K here. I may have to put it in a full screen borderless mode as long as I have to because it doesn't really like it when my desktop is at 4K. Yeah, I have to do it again. So this is a DLSS quality at 8K resolution. And that seems to like keep it at between 58 and 60 frames per second, which is a pretty ideal situation, I'd say. And then just for fun, let's turn off the LSS. Completely off. Apply. And for some reason we're still maintaining the same frame per second, so I'm not sure how that's even possible. Let me take a minute, a second look here, make sure it's applied. That's weird. Yeah, I have DLSS off and I'm still maintaining almost 60 frames per second. That doesn't make sense. So maybe a 8K is not really... Something's up with that. But I did want to test that also just to see if there's any uh, difference. Driving horribly, so forgive me. Maybe you don't drive this bad, but pay attention to the stats here. Okay, so now let's go back to uh, 4K resolution. And we'll set it back to uh, DLA mode. Apply. Save. I think that would be the ideal situation. 4K with DLA on. I would say that would be the most ideal situation with some high setup. Since I did all the race in the exterior, we all finished the race here in the cockpit view. But that pretty much, uh, oh man, that's horrible. That pretty much wraps up uh, everything I wanted to do in this test. Okay, so that's that. So uh, thank you for watching. If you did like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. I know later towards the end of the month we'll do uh, Alan Wake 2. And I may try uh, Spider-Man 2 also on my PS5. And then uh, we'll see uh, what other games will be coming out soon to test out. So thanks for watching, appreciate all support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.